Oh, hello. You caught me in the middle of one of my favorite books, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And I'm going to give you some introductory notes so that you can be prepared to begin reading this, quant this fine book. The book was written by Charles Dickens, and it was published in 1843, which is quite a long time ago. So the language will be different than current day English. Um, Dickens' intention with this book was to draw attention to the plight of England's poor. England at the time was in a Great Depression. Sim not the Great Depression, but a very big depression. And Dickens wrote about the, the um, poor that were in his country. Um, he was the second of eight children and lived in London. When he was 10, his father was put in debtor's prison. Debtor's prison is when people are in, are owe money to someone and they can't pay it back. They're put in prison in, at this time. Um, and so Dickens had to go to work to help support his family. However, his father gained an inheritance and was able to pay off his debts and get out of prison. Dickens was able to quit working and go back to school um, where he just he became a law clerk and then eventually became a writer. The book is considered a novella because it's not the quite the length of a novel but it's not a short story either and as I said it highlights the hardships of the poor at Christmas and also the importance of happiness and more specifically the importance of family to happiness and let me also point out there are no ducks in this book if your book has Scrooge McDuck in it or if you're watching a video version of it that has Scrooge McDuck in it it is not the correct version the characters uh, you probably know most of these you're probably familiar at least on some level with the story. The characters are Ebenezer Scrooge. He's the mean, greedy, unkind old man. There's Belle, which is Scrooge's one-time fiance. There's Bob Cratchit, Scrooge's clerk. He is a loving, cheerful, patient man. Mrs. Cratchit is Bob's wife. She is a spirited woman and does not like Ebenezer Scrooge. Fanny is Scrooge's sister and Fred's mother. Scrooge adored her, however she died young. Fred is Scrooge's nephew, as we said Fanny's son, and he enjoys Christmas time very much and he tries to get his uncle Scrooge to enjoy Christmas as well. We have the ghost of Christmas past who looks like a child and an old man at the same time and wears a white tunic and a bright light white bright light shines from its head we have the ghost of Christmas present which is a hearty robust figure and we have the ghost of Christmas yet to come which is a has a mysterious black robe that conceals what it actually looks like and it never speaks we also have Marley which is Scrooge's business partner who is now deceased um, which kind of leads into the beginning of the book and we have Tiny Tim which is Bob Cratchit's youngest son he is crippled but he is also patient and kind and again let me reiterate there are no ducks in this book. That is your Christmas Carol introduction. I know you will enjoy reading this book. And so that is what you need to know to begin. Enjoy!